Hi Drastic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Princess Daisy from Super Mario. So let's get started. To draw Daisy, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So come right across, nice and wide, so let's say about right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect at the bottom of a curve. Towards the center, now I can go up. There, so just a basic curve like that. And then from there, let's come back to the sides and we're going to draw um, a circle for the eye. So right here, close to the edge, draw a big circle. And same thing on the other side, but right here. And now that I have this in, let's come in and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom, and same thing over here. So now that the eyes and let's come back up over here on the edge and then spruce them up with some lashes. So I'm going to just draw a curve and another one. And same thing over here. And then let's see, let's give her a sweet smile. So right about here in the center, let's draw a soft curve that slightly goes up and cap it off. There. Okay, so then from there, let's come close to her eye and we're going to draw her ear. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve. And before I finish that curve, I'm going to draw her earring, which is a flower. So I'll come right here and just draw a petal. And I'll just go around whatever space I have. And then I'll just come right in the center and draw a circle. So same thing over here, right where her eyes are. And once again, just draw petals all the way around and center circle. <laughs> there, got her uh, earrings in. And then I'll come in here with some details for her ear. Just two curves and one down. Then we can come back and draw her hair. So let's find our center. So say about right here, I'm just kind of imagining an oval, so say about right here, I'll just give myself a point right in the center. From there, I'm going to start draw one strand that comes down, go up, and we're going to bring a curve right back down to where we started. So same thing over here. Curve down, just like the other side, up, and bring it right back down. There. And then before I forget, let's draw her brow. So like in this area right above her eye, about right here, I'm just going to draw a soft curve. So same thing over here. There, now it's complete, right? Okay, so then now we can go up and we're going to go pretty high up. Go straight up. Just imagine this full hair right here. So let's say about right here. I'll just give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to draw a big curve that comes up nice and full. And about right here, I'm going to start to come down. And as I come down, I'm going to flick it out about right here and connect back. So same thing over here. Go up and just right the other side about right here. Now we can go down. And just like the other side, we'll come about right here, curve up, and connect. So I'll just go ahead and smooth my curve up a little bit. 
now that I know where it's going. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's draw the center line that comes straight down from here to here to connect. And then let's see, before I forget, just little details, I'm gonna come right here and draw this little strand. And then now the crown. So right in the center here is gonna be a circle for the center flower. And I'm just gonna draw three curves around it. And then come straight up once again for the crown. Two angles down and we're gonna go up and down. So same thing, up and down. Now we have a crown. Now we can go ahead and draw her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So let's come right in the center, give her a little neck right here, and we're going to curve it out. Just not too much because she has these poofy sleeves. So we're just going to stop about right there. From there, let's uh, give her a little right here for her collar and then I'm going to just bring this down then let's come back up here and we're going to draw her collar which is just three curves it comes right across and now that I'm looking at let's bring this down a little bit more because you just imagine it has these poofy sleeves to bring it down and about right there, we'll go ahead and connect. So we're just connected with a curve right in the center and back up. So this is just her bodice area. And then we can go ahead and poof out her skirt. So right here, just nice and poofy, come out. And here. So let's bring this out. And she has this part right here at the top. So I'm just gonna um, stop a little bit. I'm gonna poof this out right here. I forgot what this is called. <laughs> and right here, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. So there's this part right here and then we can imagine this going right here, going down. And we can start to draw the rest of her dress. We just want to slowly flow it out. Nice and long. Let's say about right there. I'm going to stop. I just want to make sure I'm about the same level. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and just connect it with a bunch of curves. But the center is going to be lower. So that's our goal. So I'll just go ahead and make it as even. Let's make it easier. And one more. And then we have one more layer. So just imagine this still coming down. And once again, we want it pretty even. And then same thing. Center is lowest and then back up. There. Okay, so then um, since we're here, might as well. We're just coming here with some details. So I'm just following my bottom for some trim. And same thing here. Sorry, going too low. <laughs> Okay, there, much better. And then we can come in here and just very lightly just draw some lines so that we know this is nice and poofy for her dress. And now we can come back up here and uh, draw her sleeves finally. So let's come right back to this area and we're going to poof out this pig poof right here about here and down here and connect it and then we're going to draw some fringe right here and come in here with some detail and her hand so her hand is going to be on her hip so just imagine her arm is going to come out about right here and here we're drawing that angle so same thing here just follow come down and I'm stopping right here because she has these gloves. 
So to make it easier, I'm just going to come right here and just draw this little curve. And then imagine this is her hand. And then we're just going to curve it in. So nicely simplified, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so same thing over here. Nice big poof. Same thing right here. And connect, and then the bottom part. And once again, about right here. And the glove. One, two, three. Now we're just going to bring it out. And then finger. There, we did it. <laughs> and we once again, just draw some curves in here for some detail. And then she has a center flower right here. So, you know what? I'm going to make this center a heart. I know, it's supposed to be just a regular flower. <laughs> but I want her to be my draw so cute. Daisy, so I'm going to go ahead and then draw the flower around it, the petals. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. <laughs> there. And then now finally you can finish her hair. So let's come back out here and kind of like underneath, right here. We're going to come out with a curve, bring it down, and one more. Nice and full. So same thing about right here. So we're just kind of mirroring the, uh, the hair on the top. And one more curve. And that is pretty much it for Daisy here from Super Mario. And I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me. And that inspires you to draw her too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.